I'm going to make screw holes going through this hybrid. Now we have cut the gum, the tissue, we have also connected the implant abutments to the hybrid. So here, this is like really cool stuff actually. Um, I'll show you what we're going to do. So here this one, we want to angle that one a bit because the incisor, it comes out on the incisor. In the crown module, let's get a 10 degree. Okay. Now only do that if your screwdriver and your screw allows for angled um, insertion of screws. Otherwise, if you go straight screwdriver, it will not work. You need one of these special screwdrivers that can and screws that can accept angles. Now in the Z, I'm going to drag it and slide the Z here. You can see on the right hand side. I'm going to place this so that I'm going to get a good um, position for my screw to come through. I don't want it there, so I'm looking at something perhaps over here like that. That's looking good. But we need to also make sure that it is in the correct spot. So we're going to just move that up a little bit like that. Because this, the screw is retained over there and then the angle goes in there like that. Now we're going to have to do this to all of these. So here, just going to move this to the top like that. Now here, on this one we may also want to consider an angle because of where it comes out. So let's grab a 10 degree angle, click on OK and move slider. So here again I'm moving it so that I can get a good um, a path where the screw hole is. Again, we're going to just go and adjust these to make sure that they are in the correct uh, position to make a hole. So these are all, all good. This one needs to come up. Don't just cut the holes because you're going to, to destroy your, your um, seat, your seat for the screw head. And we don't want to do that. Excellent. Now the next thing we want to just touch up on is the geometry where the screw hole comes through. So here we can see a kink and we can see a kink of the, over there. Let's change that. Let's smooth that down a little bit because the, the nicer the, the exit, the better the geometry is going to be. So here I'll just smooth to make sure we can actually get a nice hole going through there. You can already see that the geometry is, looks way better over here as well. Especially here where the, the teeth come together, kink together. And over here as well. So we'll just smooth around that that screw hole. So when it cuts it, we've got a perfect geometry. Now this is the cool part, this is where the magic happens. I'm going to put it on transparent so that we can actually watch this live. Select fixture and cut the hole. How cool is that? So here we can see the mesh where we've smoothed over here as well. We've got a perfect hole. And that completes it. In edit mode, this is what it looks like. Beautiful.